delighted to be here with you and uh, I'm delighted that we are uh, celebrating Eid tonight and I think it's going to be a, a very big event um, with many members of the community and you know one of the things I'll be saying is I will be talking about the centrality of the Muslim community to my vision of one nation uh, a united country of people of all faiths and all backgrounds I'm incredibly proud of the representation that we already have in the Labour Party uh, from the Muslim uh, and BAME community but I'm also proud that if you look at the parliamentary candidates we've selected, I believe we have a record number uh, of people uh, from ethnic minority backgrounds as part of our uh, candidates more than ever before. And I look forward to us increasing that representation after the general election. And the reason why it matters to me is because it's right in principle, uh, but it's also right because we have, must look like the country we seek to serve. And that is central to me in the... Uh, for the Labour Party. Of course, we meet for this Eid celebration at a time of terrible, terrible occurrences in the rest of the world, and in particular uh, in Israel and in Gaza. And let me just say some words about uh, that. I have said repeatedly that I condemn the rocket attacks from Hamas. I condemn the murder of the uh, Israeli teenagers, and Israel has a right to defend itself. But I cannot justify or defend what we are seeing unfolding in Gaza uh, and the uh, killing of innocent uh, Palestinian women and children and uh, this terrible rising death toll. And that's why you know, we warned that uh, an Israeli incursion into Gaza would be uh, uh, wrong and counterproductive. Uh, and I think that uh, tragically events have vindicated uh, this. I think that what needs to happen now with the utmost urgency as the international community is increasingly saying is we need to see a ceasefire and we need to see meaningful discussions around a two-state solution. But uh, it's the tragic, tragic and terrible events that we're seeing unfolding in Gaza and clearly that will be part of the background to the uh, very, very sad and terrible background to the events this evening.